like fame. I tell people all the time, fame ain't what you think it is. You think you want to be famous? Do you really? You know what fame really is, man? Fame is like living in a big, pretty prison. I can't go nowhere, man. I can't do nothing. I'm, I'm really famous, man. I'm a household name in this country. I can't go out of this country. I can't go anywhere. And it's, it's people go, ah, oh, that must be great, that must be great. No, it's not. It's not what you think it is, man. Being famous ain't fun because you know what? Social media has ruined it. The price for fame now is way too high. Oh man, they cheer, here's the way social media works in fame. They cheer for you on your way up. And when you get up there, they can't wait to tear you down. And it comes from the most unpredictable places. Man, let me tell you something. When I, uh, 2015, whew, I hosted Miss Universe. And <laughs> so we had been rehearsal. Now, I'm a smart guy. I've been on TV for a while. I, we, everything is teleprompter and everything is an IBF. Everything. On live TV, they don't let you make mistakes. All week long, we had been rehearsing the same way. I know, I've been to rehearsal again. So we get there at night. The teleprompter says, and the new 2015 Miss Universe is, I'm reading it. That's the announcement. And the new 2000, that's the reading. The dude in my ear, the director says, Second name on the card, Steve. Well, the announcement I just made was, and the new 2015 Miss Universe is? Miss Columbia. Miss Columbia! Ah, people going crazy. Ah, great job, Steve. Go set up in the back. Cool. I go in the back. Two and a half minutes later. Oh, they out there celebrating, crying, everything. <laughs> Two and a half minutes later, my buddy, the showrunner, he comes up to here. He said, big dog, big dog, you said the wrong name. No, I ain't said a damn thing wrong. The hell you tell me how I said the wrong name? <laughs> I read the teleprompter. Dude told me to read the second name on the card. Second name on the card was Miss Columbia. Great job, Steve, go in the back. He said, oh my God, this is a huge mistake. So the dude in my ear says, hey, Steve, don't worry. We'll straighten it out in the newspaper tomorrow. I said, no, nah, man. I ain't how this work. I'm Slick Harvey's baby boy. My daddy was a coal miner in West Virginia. He ain't raised me like this. I'm gonna go get this little girl her crown today. I walked back out on that stage and took the bullet dead in the teeth. I said, I made a mistake. Here's the winner's name down here. Now let me explain something to you. In rehearsal, we only put two names on the card and then they changed the way they had been doing it because they used to go second runner up and then you'd automatically know the next one is Miss Universe, the hype is gone. So they said, we're not gonna ever do that again. We're gonna do the, the, uh, the second runner up first and then you got the first runner up in Miss Universe and then we'll just announce Miss Universe. When they handed me the card, I picked the card up like this. My thumb is over the name. Only two names on the card. So I went out there and said, I made a mistake. Look, the card right here. I'm telling you, the teleprompter had already said and the new 2015. And the guy in my ear said, Miss Columbia, I said it. But I took the bullet. Brother, let me tell you something. That was one of the worst moments. People have no idea what happened to me. You don't know the death threats I got. You know, I live up in Atlanta. People driving by my house, man, with notes tied on rocks, throwing them over my gates. Death, they're gonna kill you and your family. My kids had to get off social media. I had to block all my kind. I got so many death threats, man. I have 24 hours security front and back of my house. My new house, front and back. They have, they've let up somewhat, but Colombians have forgiven me. But that night right there, Oh, it was ugly, man. It, it was so ugly. And so what happened was, that would bury most people. Do you, you don't have any idea the people I thought was cool with me on CNN. I got friends over there, so I thought. I got friends on different platforms. 
he's the stupidest son of a bitch. How could he do this? This the dumbest shit. Oh man, they was eating my ass alive. Now, before that, on my vision board, I had wrote to God, God, I want you to increase my global brand and persona. <laughs> <laughs> the day after that, on Google, my name had been Googled in 48 hours, 4 billion impressions. I was the most Googled man in years on Google. In, for, in years, I was the most famous person on planet Earth. God had increased my global <laughs> brand and persona, and I showed him appreciate how he did. <laughs> but after that, I got a Super Bowl commercial off of that. I, I just life started picking up. Now everybody tune in and see who the hell I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> and I meet the girls before the show, and I tell all of them, well, ladies, one thing for sure, everybody got a chance to win. <laughs>